Hey, Garrett Brill here. I'm out here with Barry Moore from AMV today, and we have been testing the Autel Live Deck. Now, we came inside. We're both Texans. We don't like cold. I like it even less than him, but anyway, we came inside to make this video because uh, we don't want to stand outside and freeze. So anyway, but I want to tell you about uh, what it is, you know, how much it costs, uh, and this, like as always, these videos are to help you and your agency decide if this is something that's uh, right for you, right for your UAS program and everything else, okay? So let's talk about what it is for a minute. <clears throat> what it is, it's actually a just a small box like this. The box itself is all self-contained. In fact, it has a battery in it. You don't have to run it off the battery. You can run, you can plug in power and run it indefinitely uh, for say inside your command vehicle, but uh, it can run out in the field for about four hours. It's three and a half to four hours um, and it, the power on, on the battery itself. And of course it can recharge. So uh, very nice job on, on being mobile, but also being uh, more permanent in, in a command vehicle. As you can see, it's, it's light and it's a pretty small, about the size of a, a wallet or something like that. So what is this thing actually for? Well, we all take and we're out uh, and we need live streaming. And of course the best live streaming out there right now is the AMV system. But the, even the AMV system relies on uh, a connectivity, you know, whether it be a, a local network or, or a cell service or whatever it might be to get the video from one place to another. Um, sometimes, let's say you have a tornado strike, massive flooding or whatever, and you need to get that signal, maybe the AMV box is a little bit out of range, maybe even a mile away. Um, or maybe you just need to get the signal to your command vehicle and that's it, that you just need, you don't need to get it out past anybody else. This doesn't rely on anything. So this is the solution that most of us or many of us in public safety have been looking for. Now, just, just to let you know, this is the need has been advertised to all of the drone manufacturers over the years. The need's been clearly advertised. Uh, Autel, hats off to them for stepping up and providing this solution. So here, what we have across the front, so again, a simple box, really simple, power button, uh, pairing button. This is to pair it with the aircraft. HDMI plug-in, um, this is a USB plug-in, and then this is to plug into a computer or a computer network. And like I said before, this is your uh, to plug in to either charge your battery or and run it indefinitely off of power. The other brilliant part of what they did on the design is instead of putting some proprietary connectors, they allowed uh, your comms guys, you know, your guys that likes to, to do all the networking. This is just a regular SMA connector. So the intent behind that, and again, hats off to them. I love that they did this. What you can do is have this box inside of your command vehicle, put some standard SMA connectors along so the right frequency and blah, 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 but you know what I mean. Um, have some regular antennas running up through your command vehicle and then have some big whips on, or some whips, small whips, whatever, a box, uh, a directional, an omni, doesn't matter, on top of your vehicle uh, so that then this can be inside and you just plug this thing right into your command vehicle and you now have uh, local regional live streaming right to your command vehicle directly from the aircraft, all right? And it even gets better than that, but I wanna kinda of show you some of the capabilities real quick and then I'll go over a few of the features. Um, and by the way, in case you're wondering, the price on this is right around $400. Uh, it's pretty good pricing and well worth every penny in my opinion. But um, so they, they hit the pricing about right too. Let's go ahead and power this thing on. I'm gonna show you how simple it is. You just hold down the power button. Now I'm running off the battery and we've been using this. So uh, I have each one of those is about an hour, not quite an hour. So I have about an hour and a half. That's this video certainly won't take that long, but I'm going to go ahead and, and plug in a USB device. Okay. So now you can see the tablet. All I have to do is launch the Autel app and the camera. And as you can see, a nice clear picture um, coming from there. But the other thing you might notice is controls. We have controls, we actually have camera controls and I'm gonna go over those in a minute. But at the same time, while I'm doing that, simultaneously, you aren't just limited to one. I'm going to plug in an HDMI device, which happens to be a big screen TV, okay? I'm gonna show you over here, we have a big screen TV behind us. 
And now one thing you'll notice is automatically on the HDMI, you notice you don't have controls because there's no control capability through HDMI interface. But you notice that you have uh, the screen. So you could take and plug that into your command vehicle or if you're uh, one of the lucky guys that has a dedicated uh, screen in the back of a Tahoe on a UAS unit, that would plug right into there. And at the same time, you could take and plug in a tablet or a cell phone or any mobile device uh, that you might have. Now, one of the important things, and this kind of differs from other previous attempted implementations, not necessarily, no one's ever really done exactly this, uh, but from other, other things is that you had to be, you had to have the controller nearby or turned on or something like that. Now you can see here we have the Autel controller with the crystal sky and you can see we have control and you'll, you'll be able to see both of them move. Now one of the things you might notice right away is how smooth this is and the reason is is this this Autel um, live deck system it actually runs at 60 hertz meaning that, it, meaning that it's running uh, about twice as fast as your normal systems uh, your other systems that we're used to looking at so therefore fast movements are going to show up a lot better now here's one thing that i want to show you that's important though on other attempts to have any kind of you know well i'll just have a second controller or something like that but then you had to have the master controller and all that stuff what if you just wanted to go and land the autel on top of a perch somewhere and say on top of a air conditioner you don't know or whatever right and you just wanted to watch a particular area you had to leave the controller on, run your controller down. I'm going to go ahead and power this off. And I'm going to power the controller. Make sure you can see it. I have the controller and the crystal sky powered off. No connection. Completely powered off. But as you can see, I still have, not only do I have a good view here, but I have full control. In fact, I'll do a little zoom. All right, so you can zoom just by doing a simple pinch zoom. All right, you can take and record. I'm recording that. And you can take and move the gimbal. All right, now obviously you can't fly it, but you have full camera interface control, including maps and everything else um, through that control. So. Uh, absolutely beautifully done on that system itself. I'm not going to go over all the stuff uh, that you have. You can see down here 60 frames per second. I'm not going to go over absolutely everything on there. Just know that this basically has full camera control um, and, and it's, it, the, the job that they did on this thing on implementation is absolutely fantastic. Now, we mentioned A and V earlier. The best of the best so if you really had to have the ultimate streaming system the ultimate streaming system in my opinion would be the AMV coupled with the Autel and that's really why I wanted Barry Moore out here so if you could take and if, how awesome would it be if you could have the best local streaming system that I've ever seen which is this the live deck and it worked seamlessly with the AMV box. So let's take it over here and we're gonna actually try that real time. All right, let me move the camera up here. All right, so there's the AMV system. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. We're gonna see if this thing will stream. All right, so here you might be able to see already. Let me see if I can. So you can probably already see that it's, it's um, encoding and it's streaming out and then Bray, if you'll bring your phone over in here. So now you can see, and then this is going out through the stream and then back onto the phone. So for working with the AMV system, it works seamlessly. It, it, it actually, they're kind of a, a force multiplier. One complements the other, and in the combination of these two, you kind of have your ultimate system. And one thing you'll notice is that both of these were as absolutely simple as can get. I mean, literally plug it in and, and things just work. I haven't hit more than two buttons this whole time. So it really is that simple and the stuff just works, which of course I love. All right, so let's, let's bring it over here, kind of do a little, uh, little overview of what it is. Again, you know, uh, $400 for this system. I, I don't sell them, I don't sell any of this kind of stuff, but you're, your uh, local Autel dealer, I'm sure they'd be happy to sell you one. But you know, it, it kind of adds that that 
piece, that missing piece that we've been asking for for years and years now. Um, again, hats off to Autel for, for making it happen. Um, I, I, I really couldn't be more impressed. Oh, there was one thing, so I can't, it would be a horrible review if I didn't point out one thing that didn't work as I expected it to. I, I would fail at that. And on the computer network parting part of it down here, so on this plug, this last one I mentioned, what I wanted to do, I really wanted this to work. I wanted to be able to plug it into my Wi-Fi system and then it just stream out to all the computers. And whenever I did that, that unfortunately did not work. But, uh, you know, again, there's, there's, you're always gonna find something. Other than that, I have not found a single flaw with this uh, system. It's just worked absolutely fantastic. So anyway, uh, hope this uh, provides enough information for you to, to let you know what this thing is about. Uh, again, if you're looking for live streaming, I would definitely look into this and look in, if you're looking for the ultimate system, look into this and AMV. So I uh, hope that's helpful. We'll talk to you later. Bye.